Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone, and today, guys, I'm about to show you a tutorial how to randomize your Pokemon games with PKNX. Now, I know this video is kind of a longer way to do. I remember I said three weeks ago I was gonna do this video. To be honest with you, the reason I haven't made the video is because I've been lazy. <laughs> to be honest with you, um, but at least I'm making the video. So right now, it's pretty late. It's it's 2 a.m. So. I may sound a little bit off, but it is what it is. The video has to be made. Okay, first things first. You're gonna need two things, which I'll leave in the description down below. These two. Basically, dumping your game files, or you can use PKNX because it's really important. If you don't have um your games dumped, this process is not for you. And to attain to dump your game files you need to have to have a modified switch essentially and also comply your files so this this is pretty easy actually both of these are pretty easy so it's very important for you guys to do these two first but this this coherence both of them applies with what I'm about to do right now so essentially um, just follow the instructions throughout. It's pretty simple and easy. Like I said, this is one of the most straightforward and easiest um, text scripts ever because usually I'm a, pref I'm a person that prefers to um, basically watch a video of somebody doing it instead of people making steps. Usually I don't like steps, but I'm like, why not give it a try? And it was really straightforward to easy to understand, to be honest with you. And for this one too, this is really easy. It was not too hard for me to figure out how to do this at all. And it was coming with a program that I never used before. So that's how, that's how you can tell that was really easy for me essentially. So yeah, but now on to the randomization. Now, if you followed the comply guide, you would know you would have repos. Got pick and next, and then first things you do, you're gonna open. Oh, I'm gonna try to find pick and next. Go to bin, debug, and there you go. The master files for pick and next. Um, even though these might be a little bit outdated, I will also leave a link in the description to the GitHub because this is when the updates are made. So. If you want to have the latest version of PKNX, you can get it from one from the GitHub. But any version of PKNX is pretty good, up to date. I think coming from the third update, that's when every Pokemon that's in the code is pretty usable. So yeah, first things first, I'm gonna go to my USB before we get started. I'm gonna show you basically. What I need. So when you dump your games, you're gonna need your, you're gonna have your partner keys and your title keys, which you see right here, and then you go to NX, ROM FS, and this is what you basically need to start your randomization with PKNX. As you see, ROM FS dump sword, and this is. my randomization file, essentially. All right, let's get right into it. It's pretty straightforward, like I said. Your main focus is basically to randomize. <laughs> That's the point. All right, so the first thing I usually mess around with is, since I have sword, so I'm be messing with SW if you have shield. SH is obviously for you, so since I have sword, I mess around with this. And you can like edit it to your liking. Like I said, you can randomize basically all the Pokemon that's available, where it's usually the catch. The thing I like to do is basically, this should be a little tab, where you can basically just randomize everything. Hmm, which one I'm gonna try? I always try out 
for example, X2I or something like that. All right, so essentially you can mess with the chances of, like say for example, I can increase beware to 100% that would always appear in the overworld. And if the Pokemon has one day one more than one form, you can press what type of form you can get. Like say for example, Ash, Ash, Ash Hat Pikachu, which is inside the game, has like four or five forms. You just basically go for like say for example, you want like a Kento Ash Hat Pikachu, you press like one or Sinnoh, you feel like something like four or three or something like that, essentially. That's how it basically works. And then you can mess with around with the levels. You can make them level 100 right here. Like the minimum level, it says, for example, I'll make it 20 or I do something crazy like makes it make it 100 essentially. And you mess around with fishing too, but fishing doesn't have that or, or shaking trees because it's actually I doesn't have trees that you can shake around or you can, I believe you can fish, but I don't know why there's no data for that, but yeah that's weird but randomization um first thing you press is randomize all species obviously since you won't get every pokemon due to the fact that obviously there's only like 400 or 500 pokemon that's in the game's code so yeah as you see everything is randomized and you basically do that for everything so everything is actually randomized which is kind of cool oh, i thought i had to do it by piece by piece hold on let me look for north lake and Melok because that's what i was editing earlier I was really early editing North Lake Milok. Yeah. Basically everything is random. So as you press this one time, it start randomizing like crazy. You see? Randomize it one more time. See? It randomized. And then you mess with the levels and stuff like that. Which is dope. This is like the most important part. Basically to me. Um, what else? That's good. Pokemon. Like, basically, customize your Pokemon. Mm, I say, for example, I can make Bulbasaur really strong. I can make a Bulbasaur get a, like, a Great Ball. Like, stuff like that, essentially. Really easy. And you have something like this. It's randomized. Whenever I see a, t whenever I see a tab, I just press randomize because the main the the main reason why I'm doing this is to randomize it. Yeah. I be sore. You see, it just made the typing fighting <laughs> something something wacky like that. And you make if 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 Rattata was in the game's code, obviously you would. It would have been a fighting type. You made Charizard a fairy type, like stuff like that. And basically, all you have to do is just randomize, and then all the Pokemon typing is typings is basically randomized. Yeah, but if you want, if you guys want to edit, of course you can edit the stats and stuff like that. But I won't go too much in detail because I'm not trying to make this video too long. But yeah, and then trainers. So we got through wilder counters and then we got through with the pokemons now we're gonna do with the trainers um basically you can edit everything so you go against hop at least nine times so you can edit all of all all of the nine times you battle hop you can make hop either the strongest when you first battle him or the weakest when the last time you battle him or you can make hop have six pokemon throughout your whole adventure and makes 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 the experience really hard essentially and you can edit gym leaders obviously 
Um, the two rivals. Mm, Team Yell grunts and stuff like that. Like, yeah, basically have all the trainers. Leon battle with Leon two times. You can edit those times, and essentially, you already know what you're about to do. You about to press one thing that we only know: randomize. So you're essentially pressing randomize, and let's check what the results gave us. Whoa, I got an error. Well, that's where I never experienced that before. Hold on, let me check. Seven full trainer one. I don't, I got an unexpected error. I never got that error before. Oh, maybe because I didn't um click on click on something before I did. Let's say, for example, let's do it again. Just randomize it. What? Okay, this now this is a re weird error. I'm gonna have to look into that later, essentially. But it supposed to be like rent. Essentially randomize. I think this is normal team end game. Yep. I think this is normal team. Yeah, this is like his last his final team. So essentially I have to look into this. Or I edit Edit it piece by piece, but what's the point of doing that? Well, you can basically edit the important parts, but I have to look into this. Find out what's the problem with that. All right. Another thing that we can do, the script. I really don't care for, about this too much. The only thing I would just basically do is press randomize. Essentially. Yep, everything is randomized. Uh, common, I don't know what this, but my only thing when I see this is press randomize. Press yes. Yes. Wait a little bit. As you see, everything got randomized. So we randomize common, the script, trainers, a little wonky. But I look into it to see what's the problem with that. Or maybe not. Depends how, <laughs> how I'm feeling about that. Uh, statistics. Let me see, you got a randomized option. It, I think it does have a randomized option. Nah. I don't know much about this, so I'm not going into it. Gifts. Um, First thing, when I thought about this, I'm thinking, I was thinking mystery gifts, but no, nah, that's totally not what it is. Because... It says gift, first thing you would think is mystery gift, but no, that's something different. I don't know too much about these two, but the most, the, the important part stuff you're supposed to worry about is the Pokemon, um, the water counters for sword and shield and trainer stats. And you can say scripts cause it gives you a different experience, but yeah, trading. I don't really mess around with this too much. You guys can mess around it, see what it really does. But the most important, basically the top three things, these three, you got us all, all handled. And if you guys don't want to just like mess around with it a little bit, you can mess around with it. If you just want to press the randomize tab, you just 
press randomize tabs essentially. And then after that, when you're done with that, oh yeah, one more thing. When you're doing this, make sure you press save. Like say for example, when I randomize this, I gotta I gotta press save, no matter what. Even with any each tab I go through. I always gotta press save. You wanna press randomize this? I always gotta press save, no matter what. So you make, let me bubble sort bug type, which is weird. It randomized it before, so let me see Charmander. So you made Charmander a psychic type because basically you got randomized. <sighs> Trainers. Basically a save option. Make sure you always press save for it when you're trying to edit the trainers. Try to make them if you try to make somebody strong or something like that. Give everybody like six po Pokemons and stuff like that. Make sure you guys always save. And that's basically uh intermediate intermediate guide on how to use PKNX. Obviously, there is more things deep to PKNX that I haven't discovered yet, but I just want to make a quick video because yeah, I promise to make this with um PKNX guide. Like I said before, I'm leaving the description down below to this. This and this. You guys need to follow these instructions essentially to basically use PKNX to randomize your game. If you want to make a randomized Nuzlocke or you want to make a YouTube video of you making a randomized walkthrough, you guys need to follow these steps. And then after that, do the things that I showed you. You get a good idea how basically PKNX works essentially for beginners. And yeah, that's about it. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe if you guys are new. Because I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. And yeah, guys, it's your boy Birdtone.